Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Laravel B2B Marketplace UPS Shipping Plugin. Now using this particular plugin the admin can provide the United Parcel Service shipping method for shipping the products within the store. UPS is the largest shipping logistic company in the world and now it's with the Webcool's B2B Marketplace. Apart from that, the suppliers can also set their UPS details to manage the shipment of their orders and can add invoice information and much more. So all in all, this particular plugin allows the admin to set up an error message that would be displayed to the customers at the checkout if the service is not available. The admin can enable or disable the UPS shipping method. The admin can set the UPS shipping method name that would be visible to the customers at the checkout time. The admin can define the allowed methods and the weight units as well. Apart from that, the admin can allow suppliers to save their own UPS credentials. The suppliers can add invoice information and can generate the shipments for their orders as well. This particular plugin provides a dynamic shipping method for freight calculation. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be taking you through the workflow of this particular plugin. That's the Laravel B2B Marketplace United Parcel Service Shipping Plugin. And I'll be taking you through the customer workflow. I'll show you how to set up the origin of the store the initial configuration settings of the UPS shipping plugin and how the suppliers can save their own UPS credentials as well. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So right now you can see that I'm at the B2B Marketplace web store front end right now and on the top right hand corner you can see that I have logged into my customer account already. Now what I'll be doing is I'll be adding one product into the cart there. For example, let's add this t-shirt product for $100 into the cart and let's make a checkout thereafter. So I've added the particular product into the cart here as you can see uh, with one quantity. Now let's tap here on the checkout button to make a checkout. On the checkout, I'll have to select my billing address and if I want, I can also add a new billing address as well. So for now, I'll be selecting 32 Street Lane 9001, California, United States. So I'll select that up and after selecting the billing address, we'll be able to see a complete list of United Parcel Services uh, being displayed to the customer as you can see under the Select Shipping Method section. So here you can see that we have the uh, next day air early AM B2B Marketplace UPS shipping. Now this is the title that has been set up from the backend uh, configuration of the uh, plugin itself. We have the second day air AM, next day air saver, next day air, second day air. So these are the different shipping uh, methods uh, that have been enabled by the admin from the plugin configuration settings on the same are visible to the customers along with the price of each as well. Now what the customer can do is he can select the lowest price or the one as per his own requirement. So let's select $31.19 here. After selecting the same, I'll scroll down and here on the right hand side under the card summary you can see that the delivery charges are $31.19 and we have selected the second day air AM uh, B2B marketplace UPS shipping method there. Now here I have to select my payment method. So I'll choose one of the payment methods as per my own requirement there. I'll scroll down and here we can see that the uh, shipping charges are $31.19 and the shipping method name or the service name of the UPS that we have selected is uh, second day air AM. All right. And the payment method we have selected is cash on delivery. Now the customer can tap on the place order button to place the order. Now after the order has been placed, the customer can view the details of the order there and can view the particular shipping method name that the customer had selected at the time of uh, uh, placing the order. So you can see that the order has been placed. Now if I go to the order section here as a customer and here's the order number two that we have just placed for uh, $131.19 there. Let's view the particular order. So here you can see that the shipping and handling charges are $31.19 and under the shipping method we can see the particular title of the shipping method that is B2B Marketplace UPS Shipping and the service name is there that's the second day air AM. So this was the workflow at the customers end in the B2B Marketplace. 
using the Laravel B2B Marketplace UPS shipping and that's how the admin can provide the United Parcel Service shipping method for the shipping of the, produ uh, of the products. Uh, I'll also be showing you how the suppliers can also set their own UPS details to manage the shipment of their orders and how they can add the invoice information and much more. But before that, let's hop on to the admin backend panel of the Bugistos uh, B2B Marketplace. And here you can see that uh, here we have the B2B Marketplace icon. Now let's go to the sales section. Under the sales, we have the particular order for $131.19 here. Let's view the particular order. After viewing the order, if I scroll down here uh, to the payment and shipping section, here we can see the shipping method is the title of the shipping method that's the B2B Marketplace UPS shipping and the service name uh, is also visible or the allowed method name uh, for the UPS uh, service is visible that's the second day AM right and from here the admin uh, or, or the suppliers similarly can generate the invoice and the shipments for the orders to generate the invoice I'll just tap here on the invoice button this will bring up the create invoice section as you can see right now on your screens here we have the B2B marketplace UPS shipping second day air AM and uh, $31.19 I can tap here on the save invoice to save the particular invoice for this particular order after the invoice has been created I'll be able to ship the products as well to sh create a shipment I can tap here on the ship button that would take us to the create shipment section here if I scroll down here we are having the shipping information that's the B2B marketplace UPS shipping and the method name is there that's the second day air AM and the shipping price is $31.19 and if I want I can proceed further and UPS shipping and I can enter the tracking number that I have received I can scroll down I can select the source I'll select the quantity to ship and I'll tap here on the save shipment thereafter and this would create the shipment and the customer would be notified of the shipment itself along with the tracking ID there itself so the shipment has been created uh, for this particular order as you can see now if I go to the invoices here is the invoice of the order here is the shipment that we have created for the carrier that is UPS shipping so this was the workflow of uh, how the customers can select the UPS shipping uh, method at the checkout time and how the admin would be able to uh, generate the invoice and the shipment for the orders uh, that have been placed using the UPS or the United Parcel Service shipping method there. Now uh, this was the uh, workflow then now let me take you to the supplier end. So this is the supplier dashboard as you can see right now we have the dashboard messages, products, orders, customers, transactions, buying leads, requests for quotation, reviews and sellings. Now, as I've told you that the suppliers can also uh, set the UPS details to manage the shipment of their orders and can add invoice information and much more. So to make the configurations there for the UPS, they have to go to the settings option that you can see here. So I'll tap here on the settings option. This would bring up this particular section here. Here we have to navigate to the UPS shipping option that we have, UPS shipping. And here under the manage UPS configuration, we have the UPS configuration. So here the supplier needs to enter the access license key, user ID and the password for his UPS merchant account that he has created at the UPS itself and he has to enter the ship shipper number as well and after entering these details you need to tap here on the save button and now the suppliers would be able to provide the UPS shipping method for shipping their products to the customers so whenever a customer purchases or adds a particular supplier's product into the cart and makes a checkout after selecting the billing address the customer would be able to see the UPS shipping methods uh, uh, available uh, shipping methods available there under the shipping uh, section there and can select any one of them to make a checkout thereafter all right and similarly the suppliers can then go to the orders section and manage their orders by going navigating to the orders section and here they'll find the orders and similarly to the admin the suppliers can also manage uh, the invoice and the shipment for their orders that have been placed using the united parcel service shipping methods there itself now let me take you back to the admin backend panel 
and let me show you the initial configuration settings for this uh, particular plugin that's the laravel b2b marketplace ups shipping plugin for that you have to go to the configure option on the bottom left hand corner this would bring up this particular section here we have to go to sales under sales we have the very first option as the shipping option so here we will set up the origin of the store so i have set the origin of the store as united states california street 69 9001 as the zip code for california and the store name and i have tapped on the save button thereafter to save the origin of the store now coming to the shipping method section here we will go to the shipping method section and here we will find the B2B Marketplace UPS Shipping. So after the successful installation of the Laravel B2B Marketplace UPS Shipping, you will find this option here under the configuration settings in the admin backend panel under sales, shipping methods, configuration, under configuration you will find the B2B Marketplace UPS Shipping. So here you can see the same uh, title was visible to the customers at the checkout time there. That was B2B Marketplace UPS Shipping. This was the description set for the B2B Marketplace that was B2B Marketplace UPS Shipping. You have set the status of this particular shipping method as enabled. Uh, you also have or the admin also has the option to allow the suppliers to save the UPS details. So if I have disabled this then the suppliers would not be able to save the UPS details. Otherwise if I have enabled it then the suppliers would also be able to uh, save the United Parcel Service uh, credentials there. Then the admin needs to enter the access license key, user ID, password and the shipper number. So these details uh, you'll be getting after you've created a merchant account with the UPS there and you'll get your access license key, user ID and the password. The same needs to be entered here. Uh, then we have the container type. You can choose the container type for your orders there as package, UPS letter, tube, pack or the express box as per the requirement there. You can also uh, choose the weight units as between kilograms or LBS as per your own requirement. You can also select the allowed services basically or the uh, allowed method names uh, that would be available uh, at the checkout time to the customers. So here you can see that we have next day A early AM, uh, second day air AM, second day air, next day air saver, UPS worldwide express and much more. So whichever ones that you have selected here would be available to the customers at the checkout time. Uh, under the shipping method section, they'll find the UPS shipping methods uh, or the services, different services with their pricing as well and the name of the services as well. And lastly, here we have the error message. So if uh, the particular shipping method, that's the UPS shipping method is not available at a particular location, then the error message that you have entered here would be visible to the customers at the checkout time. All right. So let me give you an example for that. For example, if I go to Velocity, uh, the home page here, and I add a particular product into the cart, and I try and make a checkout thereafter. Now here if I select my uh, location, after selecting the location, you can see that because uh, at this particular location, the particular product is not being uh, serviced by the UPS uh, shipping there so that's why you can see please check the details here now the same is visible here please check the details under the error message there itself all right and lastly you just need to tap here on the save button to save the configuration settings so yes that was much about the Laravel B2B marketplace uh, United parcel service uh, shipping method there and I hope it helped you out in understanding how the admin can provide UPS shipping method for shipping the products and how the suppliers can also set their UPS details to manage the shipment of their orders and can add invoice and much more. Apart from that, I also showed you how the customers would be able to select the UPS shipping methods at the checkout time. If you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements regarding the same, then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of bugisto.com or you can raise a ticket at bugisto.uvdesk.com as well. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.